Hi, it's Tim. And it's Amy from Go With Less. If you've watched our past three videos, you'll know they were kind of long. Today we're going to throw you a bone. It's going to be a shorty. Today we're talking about our very favorite topic, and that's travel, specifically our travel plans for 2019. We have some super fun stuff coming up. We hope that you will stay tuned. If you like the idea of travel, travel hacking, house sitting, we come up with a new video every single Wednesday, so hopefully you'll subscribe over there in the corner. And with that, let's get started. In January, we started our year off with a quickie trip to Tempe, Arizona, which is a suburb of Phoenix. Our travel hacking expert friend Marla joined us there. We had some meetups while we were there. We had a fantastic time. We live in Colorado. It's warm there. So this was just basically a run to the sun, a chance to get away from the cold. It was really cheap and it was three nights. Now, February, we're staying home because we have a commitment to get healthy. We were so indulgent in the second half of 2018, and we both gained some weight. So February, we're staying home, and we're at the gym every single day. That's exactly right. <laughs> in March, we have a trip planned to Merida, Mexico. Again, this is just a chance to get away from the cold. Winter's not over when it comes to March here in Colorado, so we're looking to get down there to find some more warm weather. We're using our United points to do that, so it was a free trip minus the taxes and fees. And many people haven't heard of Merida. It's part of the Yucatan Peninsula. It's a big expat community, just maybe three hours or so northwest of Cancun, and it's about a half hour from the beach. So we're just gonna be kind of chilling out like locals. This might be a place we might wanna live in the future for winter time, and we're gonna go just check yeah. it out. It's very affordable. Also, Amy said it's almost free. However, we did pay out of pocket for Airbnb, so we did pay some yeah. money out of pocket for Airbnb. We're gonna do two Airbnbs there. One is a two nights, and it looks like this really cool place that almost looks like a church slash museum, so real interested in that. It's, an, it's a home, and then we have our own private apartment. So we're gonna try to live our healthy life there and see how that goes. Maybe not indulge as much, but it's hard because we love the food in Mexico. And this will be our first time in Merida. Yep. In April, we have a trip planned with our daughter to Europe. This is her first time to Europe, so we're very excited to get to introduce her to Europe. We found an amazing airfare on Iceland Air. It was like less than $350 per person to fly on Iceland Air. We go through Reykjavik, but we start in Paris. Then we're gonna go from Paris to Brussels, and then we're gonna go from Brussels to Amsterdam. We, this was a very lucky find in that we didn't plan this, but it is tulip season in Amsterdam. So we are incredibly <laughs> excited about seeing the tulips in Amsterdam. And just a heads up, it's a little bit just switched around. It's Paris, Amsterdam to Brussels. There you go. Yeah. And when we were in Brussels, we're going to spend a day going over to Bruges because we've heard from everybody that you've just got to get to see Bruges. And while Tim and I have been to Paris quite a few times, we haven't been to Amsterdam or to Brussels. So that will be really exciting. And what's really cool about that too. Amsterdam was really expensive and I couldn't find an affordable Airbnb in the city. So one of our viewers, Malanka, has, is from there. She said, you don't have to stay in the city. It's really good with public transportation. So we're staying in a little village outside of Amsterdam called Edam, E-D-A-M, of the cheese. So we are probably going to put on every pound that we lose eating cheese and fresh strope waffles in uh, Amsterdam, yep. but we will be bike riding. <laughs> bike we'll riding through tulips. Yeah. Doesn't that sound fun? Sounds incredible. Can't <laughs> wait to go. Now in the last week or two, we talked about our plans for the summer. We were looking for a good house set and boy, oh boy, we found one and we, we sure are did. booked. Yeah, it's a double whammy. So this is an interesting situation. We've never done this before. These homeowners are going to be away from their home for five months. With their young children. Traveling the world. And so they were looking for house sitters to fill in gaps between when they are doing home swaps. So they'll have a home swap person coming to their home, they're staying in their home in other parts of the world, and then they're having house sitters fill in the gaps whenever their pet needs to be cared for. So luckily, we actually are signed up for two of these sits. So we're gonna come in, take their house from a, a home swap person, then turn it over to a home swap person, then come back to this home and be there for a total of 
like two and a half weeks, and then we have a 10-day vacation in the middle of our house sit, and then about another two and a half weeks. It's in the French Alps. If you've been following our channel, you'll know we were in France last summer. We had the time of our lives, and so we will be back in France this summer. We love France, and we will be celebrating Bastille Day there again, which was so special last year, and we'll be celebrating that in the town of Lyon when we have our little 10-day break. So in that period where we turn over, we are going to Turin, Italy, Milan, Italy, and Lyon, France. And all of these are new places for us. We've been to Italy, we've been to France, but these towns are all new for us, and we can't wait. And here's like the kicker. It's one cat who almost entirely lives outdoors. Is that as sweet as a situation can be? The family seems wonderful. Now, also during our Italy stay, I'm hoping that we can figure out some way to get to Cinque Terre. We found uh, there's a day trip that takes you there. It sounds like it's a really long day. This is something I really want to do. I do too. But we don't know. <laughs> so it's about 150 bucks for this th per person for what we found. We don't know if it'd be enough time, but we're trying to figure out if we can make that happen. So if you guys have any thoughts about going to Cinque Terre from Milan. Just for a day trip. Just for a day trip. We love your thoughts on that. And we're also hoping to go up to Lake Como for a day trip because we have five nights in Milan. So we'll hopefully go up to that lake area, maybe like spend the day with George Clooney. <laughs> that was our plan. Yeah, George is our buddy. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. And uh, as soon as we come back from that house sit experience, then we're heading to a repeat sit at the beach in San Diego with two really sweet cats. We were there at Christmas time a year ago, Christmas yeah. time, and we had so much fun. They invited us back again, and off we go in August. We're still settling those dates, though. Exactly. After that, we don't really have any plans for a while. We're, we're, we don't have plans like two until weeks. September. We don't have any plans for two uh, weeks. <laughs> so, is that when we're going to FinCon? Yes. Okay. Well, we're off to FinCon, which is going to be in Washington, D.C. So we have a short two-week window <laughs> before we're off to FinCon in D.C. We'll be there for roughly a week. And that's when we meet our friends who are bloggers, vloggers, speakers, authors, etc. in the personal finance space. We love that group, and that gets us all jazzed up. After we come home from FinCon, we don't have any plans. No plans. We are going to fill that time with travel, almost certainly. Actually, we're looking at Hawaii. We qualified again for the Southwest Companion Pass. We just got that about a week or two ago, and it lasts all the way through 2019 and 2020. That means whenever, now I have the pass, so whenever I fly, Tim goes free, whether it's points or miles, and Southwest is getting ready to open up Hawaii. Yep. So we can't wait to get back to Hawaii. We love it there. One of the challenges that we find is that we can get there affordably, or we think we'll be able to get there affordably with Southwest Airlines with the Companion Pass. However, staying there is almost always not very affordable. So we are looking for ways to figure out, hopefully a house sit, to make it affordable to be in Hawaii once we get there cheaply. Yeah, Hawaii is expensive, but we are hoping that that works out sometime in that middle of September, October. And then we're home for two weeks for the Denver Film Festival. That is a time that we try never to be gone. We love it, we wanna be here. So we'll be doing yeah. that in November. Also the Great American Beer Festival yeah. happens about the same time, so looking forward to that as well. We volunteer there too. Yeah. And then off we go to see my parents in Washington DC for Christmas time. We're real excited about that. We were on house yeah. sits the past couple years, so it'll be good to be with family for Christmas. Definitely. In DC, we love yeah. DC. We love DC. Yeah, so there you have our year. It's a really busy year, and we're hoping that we can stay healthy throughout it. That's gonna be our big challenge. So last year we had 107 days on the road. We said it was actually actually 107 nights. We said it was 104. It turns out I messed up on my spreadsheet and forgot to include a column. So it was 107 days last year. We're curious to see if we'll be on the road more this year. So, well, that was our video, short and sweet. Hopefully uh, you have some fun travel plans of your own this year. Please let us know down below. Where are you going? Where do you want to go in 2019? Are you using travel hacking, house sitting, budget travel, or are you spending the whole thing and off you go and enjoying some well-deserved travel? We hope so. Any way you get out, we hope that you do. Uh, if you liked the video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, we hit our thousand mark number for subscribers. So thank you if you do subscribe. We appreciate it so much. And if you haven't yet, what are you waiting for? Go subscribe over in the corner, please. We do come out with a new video every Wednesday, so with that, we'll see you Wednesday.